So welcome back to the channel. You haven't seen the 991 GT3 for a few weeks because it's been going through an entirely new interior change. So the GT3 has been in here for weeks now going through an interior program, completely bespoke. It's been entirely ripped out, entirely retrimmed, and today it started to go through its rebuild process. We've been documenting it over the last few weeks with lots of sexy B-roll, and today we're gonna show you what's what in this dramatic transformation. Okay, so this is a sneak preview as to the new interior theme of the GT3. However, you're probably wondering, where are the seats? This. I love it. It's unbelievable. Honestly, look at this. Wow. We've, we've carbon tinted blue carbon on the seats, which of course means the entire back. Look at it. The whole thing. The whole thing is blue carbon fiber. I mean, I'm genuinely blown away by that. So this is like a laser etching, I think. So what was the, the hard, part? Hard, part, the hard part? Very hard part is here. That is very, very hard part because it's more than 90 uh, degrees. Okay. That is very hard sewing. So that trying to get that shape to match that exactly, section. Exactly, yes. It's incredible. The last, <laughs> last time I was up here, it was all in parts. You yes, know? And yes. So trying to Im imagine mm -hmm. how it would look, seeing it together is unbelievable. And now we can start in another one and then we try doing exactly the same. Do you have any so rough idea of how many parts there are? from a template? About 25 is just seats. So 50 yes. just for seats? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here's an example of why this is actually a substantial job. You'd be forgiven for thinking when you hear carbon seats that it's just this sort of carbon shell and there's not much more to it. I mean, the car plugs in to the seats in multiple locations. There is a serious safety aspect to them because that is a side impact airbag. And when it's come to the retrim, there has to be homologated um, grade Alcantara, which sits here, so that if, heaven forbid, the airbag does have to deploy, this still needs to allow to make it work, so it's designed to burst with the airbag. On top of that, we've tinted it, and here's some more examples of pieces that you don't really think about. I mean, there's one piece there, two pieces there. It's this sort of like serious jigsaw puzzle just to retrim this thing. We've put the tinted carbon on top of that, Serious job, and this is just one component of it. I'm blown away by the whole process, it's so special. Right, so as this is taking place, this whole room is dedicated to the car as a single project. All of the threads which are linked up to each of the sewing machines here, these are all specific to the project. So we've got some contrasting orange here, which goes on the gray Alcantara, and then the flip reverse of that, we have the gray stitching here, which has gone on the lower parts of the orange leather and you can see they're all hooked up per project so this room here right now is geared up entirely look you can see orange everywhere all of this is just geared up for this one project like i can't sort of overstate what a massive project it is to retrim the entire interior of a car there's one thing doing inserts and door cards but an entire car is huge like these things actually from porsche in their seats they're designed to be swapped out. Door cards are fairly easy, headrests are okay. Lower section of the car, retrimming dashboard, things like that. Big, big job. So what these guys are doing is outstanding. Punching the holes for the eyelids. X marks the spot. Is that literally how you do it? That's an addictive process, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow! You fit an attachment to that, which is the appropriate diameter for these. That's the tool for the... So you, you've tooled it? Oh. Yeah. Had to create your own tool for those. <laughs> okay, that seats in the mold, and then you put a little backing plate on it. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. And you hammer that as well. <laughs> and that locks it. I'm never going to look at a rivet the same again. <laughs> that is quite amazing. Everything's handmade, isn't yeah. it? I love how, how old school that is. What a finish. Yeah, they didn't do that on the Porsche production line. So when you ask them to say, I want something bespoke, and it goes out of range, that's when costs get nuts. But here, they've been able to dedicate it to just this program. So we used my old seat as a test, and then when they've got 
the samples of this through because the, the woven sort of cross opposing weaves is a different fabric. We've had to test that too. I just think the result adds that sort of extra bit of retro heritage spice to it, you know? Cool thing. It's very GT40 esque. To get to that, we continue that slice and mm. just pick it up and away it goes. So this is just a, a quick plug and play on the seats when they go in, four bolts. Right. This split transmission tunnel has worked well. Yes, very good, yeah. You know, that's... We looked that's at this, pretty... so this joint here, mm -hmm. and we decided that, that that was the best type of joint there because mm -hmm. the seat would camouflage that. Right. But to try and bring this through with another, you know, it, it's, it's bespoke. You could do a bespoke one. You could bring that round and bring it round here mm -hmm. and tidy it up like that. Yeah. There's so many options you can do on this one. So we've got this, the nice stitch line here. We wanted to pick the armrest out so it was orange, mm -hmm. but then we wanted to then blend it subtly into this, in, into this area and then follow this, uh, this line all the way up into the area just under the vent and around that screen. So you've got a nice blending line all the way through. I mean, it's transformative, isn't it? I mm. mean, it's not even, I cannot wait to see the seats mm. go in. Obviously, the quarter trims are out because mm -hmm. of the seat belts. Mm -hmm. So quarter trims, a posts, the vent at the back, that's been alcantara as well. So that will all blend in. And then obviously these are the type of things, these are mm -hmm. over seat, mm -hmm. that can come off. Right. And you've still got a leather seat underneath. Really? Yes, yes. And yes. then you've, you've actually reconditioned the gear shifter itself. Yes. Because I'd beat that and it was all, yes. all the paint was chipping off. We didn't know whether it was the fact that you got it's a ring the ring. On. Yeah, yeah, every time right. you tap it. Yes. Like, in, almost every time I would yeah. shift, I would hear it. And then I'd look down yeah. after, what, what we're on, 57,000 miles. Mm. And we finally got a matching 12 o'clock marker on the steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it used to be um, red mm. and the calipers on the outside were yellow. Right. And there the was nothing yellow, that yellow, matched, yeah, you know. Right, yeah. <laughs> and by, by more luck than judgment is that we've got the, um, the dials are, of the, course, are yeah. orange as well. The indicators yes. on the dials are orange. Yeah. Yeah, Which? that was totally planned. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, James. It's <laughs> <laughs> all part of, all part of the programme. So, Frank. Frank. How was this job? Because you've got inserts here, haven't you? Like that, these yeah. all So let's take this out. one off first. So this is, the, this is the beast we're up against. Push on this side. You oh, can yeah, see it's, it's got 25 mil yeah, thick it's... cardboard. So this one goes in first. It pushes in. Why we, why we decide to put an overmat there, mm -hmm. dirty boots, throw them in. Great. Just tidies all the, all the loose ends up down there. Brilliant. These are the tool kits, so out they come. I love that. A bit of work involved in that. And then in we so go. So many individual, but you don't, things you don't even think about. Oh, that back in, this one. That's your jack and kit. No way. And there you go. That's <laughs> so good. Add the finishing touch, you put that on for a bit of anti-vibration so that we don't get any rattling about <laughs> so it's it's got to be having some sort of subliminal impact yeah. on it <laughs> obviously We've got yeah. this going on here with the yeah. orange you know that is actually a dark navy with a yeah. navy contrast stitch but then i've got the blue of the car the orange of the interior <laughs> just anyway superb isn't it? yes mm. funny right so these are these are the very early concepts when we sat down with the team it was like, okay, what have you got in mind? And they'll muck things up. And even when we signed off on this as final, the project started to evolve. And we it didn't want to did, yes. necessarily commit to bringing the exterior color to the no, interior. No. And that's where it evolved into having the carbon tinted and just bringing it down a bit. Um, but yeah, by and large, that process for, for me was so fascinating because mm. there's only so much you can that's picture. right. I mean, what, the, the first thing we did, we wanted to go body colour, solid colour across mm. there to, to mimic the outside of the vehicle. But in the end, because it was a shame to get rid of a carbon uh -huh. substrate, it's, yeah. it's better to lacquer it and bring out the, the, uh -huh. the good bits of the carbon. Yeah. Uh, and it's, although it's a little bit darker, it's actually worked. That's exactly that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. That's yeah. spot on. Yeah. And, and certain things like the back end, mm -hmm. we, haven't, we haven't changed. Yeah. We wasn't sure about the contrast of what, whether we needed to bring grey around into certain areas to subtle it off slightly. Yeah. But no, it, that, that's worked perfectly. It's only the small tweaks that we've done on the dash. Tried to pick out a stitch line that follows all the way through here. 
so it, it complements all those uh, side um, substrates. Alcantara, although it was matched exactly to this, has come out slightly darker. And, yeah. and that's probably because we've got a darker paint going across the top, yeah. dark, darker lacquer coming I mean, across we, the I top. I remember when we sort of churned out these first renders, we were like, yeah. this looks like we've murdered Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to be one step too far? But in reality, when you start speaking to suppliers and ordering samples, you start seeing tones and you're like, oh, okay, yeah. let's drop it down a tone. Theme's the same, but just calm it, you mm. know. Down One thing up. we noticed on the overmat, this uh -huh. was supposed to be a black with a blue bead. Right. And when we put that in, it, yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't complement <laughs> it, it at all. No. <laughs> there was too much, <laughs> too much contrast between a, a bright blue and, a, mm. and an orange there. Mm. So we subtled it down. We, we changed this to grey to match the Alcantara. Mm -hmm. And then we put an orange bead in there, which blends into, so the, into the thing. Yep. Yeah. More refinement. Brilliant.